into the inferno. There's something glowing over there. I'm betting it's lava. Uh. Can I make that jump? No, okay, I can't. That's what I figured. Really didn't seem like a jump I could make. the one spot on that entire rock that was too hot for me to stand on. My guess is yellow means too hot to step on. It sounds like water. a little lava fall. At least there's a decent amount of space here that you can walk on. question. Okay, that wasn't the way I was supposed to go. It looked kind of like a walkway, but it's too steep. Do I just jump past it then? Oh, there's no way I make it across that. Where do I have to go then? I mean by it gives you like no direction in the game. And those walls just kill you. Uh, where do I go? The rock over there. Oh, do I? Oh, I went that way. Now I can back around this way.
spacesuits weren't air conditioned. Huh? This guy would have died by now if they weren't air conditioned. Just because of the hot temperatures in a spacesuit normally. Is that her coughing? Is she dying? Did I bring another virus? Am I killing her? The oh god, you're making me carry you up all of this. Come on, girl. Learn to walk, please. You know, girl, you're gonna end up as dead as I am. Trying to climb these. A lot of the problems, I forget how many jumps I actually get with this thing. The Russian woman. So, that explains how she's able to breathe the atmosphere. The Russian woman appears to have greatly modified biology. While traversing a volcanic region, she began to suffocate. The gin from my suit appeared to be of no help, and she only recovered upon intake of exhaled gases, including carbon dioxide. It appears her body is somehow partly photosynthetic, able to intake CO2 and convert it to oxygen, like plants do on Earth. While this could explain her survival in an oxygen-poor atmosphere, I can't understand the science behind this observation. Well, obviously, she's a plant. She lives off the bacteria or she creates the bacteria that used to cover the planet. And she has very creepy green eyes. Doesn't wear clothes. Oh, another one of these. Are you just going to warp through the wall? You already know you can just go through those. Shoot? Probably. How slowly she walks. Like, why? It's her job just to walk on the planet until life comes back. lady walk to the wall I'm going over here I obviously have to go over here you're too slow I don't care enough to walk with her the whole way you'll be fine ooh 3d thing Nothing I can do to stop the chain reaction soon this world will be lost. I cannot fathom my part in this catastrophe or the blind arrogance with which I carried out the planet's execution. Separated from the model of their land, I will never know the outcome of the great conflict between Moscow and the West. Oh. 
but I earnestly hope that they never stand on similar grounds and witness the destruction that they uh, destruction they have wrought, as I must. I watch as this vibrant world rots to de dead rock. I so desperately wanted to hand triumph to our people. I could have been a savior, but now I cannot face them. Glad that we cannot never return. Our people will never know what happened here. They will never know why their families never came home. They will never know it was my fault. I think this was the, uh, he turned up the power. So they started consuming the stuff faster and faster. This is not something I have to like. It's one of those circle things. How do I... I can't get up there. Can I pick these up? supposed to do? Do I have to go back to her and she'll do something? Because there's nothing to do here yet. Not without extra jet fuel. Missed a trigger sequence because I didn't follow her all the way back. Power yet, find a way to restore power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This it's over there. In order to get up there, I need either more jet fuel or something needs to break. As far as I can tell, however, there is no more jet fuel. Jetpack fuel. Is there a button I have to push somewhere? how this technology works. It's pretty cool. The fact that this little tiny arm can pick this thing up and I can't just lift it into the hole. It shows how magical this power is. Okay, yeah, and then that moves that. So now I should be able to put those into... But what is this mystical rock made of? Was it just normal dirt and they painted it green?
Now we can come up and do this. Do I need to put this in somehow? What? Oh, I just jump on them to get up. I don't actually have to align them like I did in the other place. Just move these green rocks over. Oh, this one has the green circle right there. Do I really not have to align this at all? It like screams for me to push everything into place, but I guess not. It seems to take energy from those rocks and from the planet or something. But we gotta be getting close to the end because she's now walking with us. Right, one try. Oh, I was going to say, wow, she's really f so much faster than me all of a sudden. But now. Oh, she's running. Back here, creepy green foot lady. Man, you're breathing pretty heavy. I'm in a spacesuit sprinting faster than you, and I'm not even breathing heavy. Oh my gosh, you're short. Well, I guess I am in a spacesuit. Who knows how thick those soles are? There's a house here. Your house? Are you supposed to be the one who saves them? The glowy thing over there. They're just taking a break, miss. Seems to have collapsed. Must have been booking it pretty hard. Maybe it's because her body isn't designed to breathe carbon dioxide. большому разочарованию экологическое воздействие нашей эксплуатации зеленого огня оказалось пагубным растительная жизнь стремительно исчезала мы думали что этот мох был основным источником питания для всех жизненных форм на этой планете к несчастью для нашей цивилизации здесь уменьшение этого мха означало не только уменьшение энергии но также и уменьшение кислорода Люди, равно как и растения, начали умирать. На наше счастье, однако, судьба распорядилась так, что один из докторов заметил в городе нечто необъяснимое. Одна из наших сотрудниц, Айлита, разводила сад, и он продолжал цвести. Мы пытались разгадать этот секрет, 
Но Айлита, непонятно почему, замкнулась в себе. Ее ребенок умер, судя по всему, от недостатка кислорода. А отказ Айлиты сотрудничать и поделиться своим секретом вынудил нас применить силу. Mm -hmm. Солдаты пришли к ней и стали угрожать сжечь ее сад. Но когда Айлита бросилась защищать свои растения, они стали расти. Они реагировали на ее прикосновение. Это оживляло их. Тогда Айлиту, расцененную как средство к достижению цели, схватили, заперли и стали проводить над ней ужасные эксперименты. Мы страшно изменили ее на генетическом уровне, вкалывая в ее тело инъекции с огромным количеством ДНК, сохраненных культур местного мха. Пока она орала от боли и протеста, мы уничтожили ее человеческое происхождение. Exactly what will happen. Когда мы закончили наши эксперименты, элита стала скорее расти. I don't know if that was too far or if I just die falling down there. We'll try again. Там, куда она ступала, следы от ее ног наполнялись маленькими ростками жизни. Мох отвечал на ее прикосновения, пробиваясь вверх. It's just screams come and check me out, so I kind of have to go down here. Метеорита указывает на нетипичность в сравнении с метеоритами, найденными на Земле. При дальнейшем исследовании этот метеорит казался нам частью высокотехничного инженерного сооружения. В настоящий момент мы склоняемся к предположению, что этот кратер был местом посадки более расы, построивший портал и связанный с ним энергогенерирующий Мы основали All very interesting stuff. Oh no, this must be the research base. Cultivating, we upset the order of the new world. And this rain always will be such. Arrogance to think of any different origin. Very leader, I did not see it. Names ever told the mind will be as a lesson for those who come before me. Dos Vidania. Dos Dos Vidania. Yeah. Dos Vidania. Uh, Ah, ah, okay. I don't know how that can possibly come from a highly engineered vehicle. Looks to me like it's a chunk of gold. And it's not, it doesn't have like any shape or form to it, it's just a lump of metal.
He's already booked it across. But yeah, so this is the moss that grows where she walks. The green fire. That everything on the planet lives on. Lives on. My guess would be that it would continue growing after she walked by. Slowly grow. Especially now that there are no plants to eat it. And of course, as it grows, the plant life would probably come back, I would assume. Slowly, but eventually. But animal life would not. Animal life would be dead forever. This girl must be Elita. The thing is it mentioned that his uh, wife was gone, disappeared. I kind of feel like she's here. I don't know if that's true or not. Is it going to load in a new area or is she going to... Walking. Is this, is this another portal? There she comes. Volcano in the distance, probably. Is that another one over there? Ancient. Alright, I'm going to stop a video here. Because... We're almost to 30 minutes.